Welcome back to the channel. This week we will be disassembling a wrecked Tesla Model 3. Before we begin, if you're interested in learning more about the collision repair process on Teslas, hit that subscribe button in the upper right hand corner. With the damaged hood removed, we can now start taking apart the frunk, which is held with 7 10mm bolts. With the frunk detached from the vehicle, we can now remove the upper bumper bolts. The remaining bumper fasteners from the underside and the left side are taken off. The bumper harness is disconnected and the bumper can now be removed. The front absorber cushion and the front rebar are now removed. Before the rebar is taken off, three airbag sensors must be disconnected. The rad support is next to get removed. The wiring harness must be disconnected first followed by detaching the two 8mm bolts holding the fan shroud assembly to the rad support. We can now remove the six 13mm bolts holding the rad support to the vehicle. Both lower cradle extensions are removed, followed by the active grille shutter. We now check for damage underneath where we find a crack in the fan shroud assembly. The front right crush can is now removed, followed by the upper bolted on fender support. The right fender is already half ripped off the vehicle, but the remaining portion is removed, followed by the fender liner. The upper fender covers, wipers, and the cow cover are all now taken off the vehicle. The broken left fender retainer and left headlight are both removed, followed by detaching the fender liner from the vehicle so we have access to remove the left fender repeater lamp. This vehicle will be getting its frame measured using a 3D electronic measuring system. The system requires the center section to be measured, so both the front and rear lower shields are being removed to have access to the subframe bolts. This vehicle will be measured using the Naja Gazelle by Select. This vehicle has obvious structural damage to the upper apron and strut tower, but we need to make sure there is no structural damage to the front frame rails. After measuring the vehicle, you can see both frame rails are within spec with the green OK symbol. If something was damaged, it would give you a red result showing you exactly how far in length, width, and height the part was damaged. This vehicle is all taken apart. Multiple apron brackets are being replaced, along with the inner and outer apron which is torn apart. 
The strut tower and reinforcements will also be getting changed as it is out of spec and there is no structural pulling allowed on Teslas. To do this, the complete front suspension will be removed. The front door will be getting repainted along with the left fender which has a small repair to the front corner. The front wiring harness is ripped in half and will also be getting replaced. Subscribe and stay tuned for new Tesla content every Friday.